Process costing is used when all units produced are the same or the variation among them is minimal. In contrast to job order costing, units of the same product are not treated differently. For example, each time MFD produces a fashion jacket, the costing system assigns it a cost that is the same as the cost of all other fashion jackets. In contrast, each project in a consulting firm has a different cost. The label process costing comes from the production environment where production is a constant flow of products such as oil, chemical, or food processing industries. In these settings, production is continuous, hence its name, process costing. Most manufacturing settings are a mix of job and process costing characteristics. For instance, cars share many pieces in common, which is typical of a process costing environment, but also have customized parts, typical of a job order costing environment. Cost systems may have certain characteristics that they borrow from job costing and others that they borrow from process costing. Picture a chemical plant that performs two processes, mixing, and heating. The costs of the production plant are allocated to these two processes, the cost pools. For each process, an allocation base, usually the time spent in each process, is chosen and used to estimate the cost of the product. Thus, if product A needs two hours of mixing and one of heating per ton of product, and product B needs one hour of mixing and a half hour of heating, the cost of B is half of the cost of A. Another characteristic of process costing is the use of equivalent units. Because there are often products in process that have started to be processed but are not yet finished at the end of a period, we need to calculate the number of equivalent units to allocate indirect costs to work in progress or finished products. For instance, if a product is in the middle of the production process, each unit is equivalent to half an equivalent unit because only half of the resources have been incorporated into the product. A more refined cost system may use different equivalent units for different types of resources. For instance, if all material comes at the beginning of the process, a product that is halfway through the process will have a full equivalent unit of material but half an equivalent unit of labor. If labor comes in constantly through the process, Job order and process costing are designed for different environments. Job order is used when each unit is different, uses resources in a different way, and cost needs to be estimated for each individual unit. Process costing is used when units are identical, use resources in the same way, and the cost per unit is an average of total cost divided per number of units.